Welcome beautiful people, I am Chef V. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome Wagwan. Make sure you're subscribed down below. So we're about to do a wig install and styling for Love Me here. And this is their 13 by five ready to go frontal wig. So this is a ear to ear glueless HD wig. And this is a deep wave. I got it in 24 inches and it is a medium cap size so i want to show you guys what the lace is looking like especially the inside since this is an ear to ear glueless wig and it comes with the adjustable strap it's already pre-cut pre-bleach pre-everything for you already however i wanted my nuts to be a little bit more natural so i'm gonna go in with some bleach so i mix my two formulas together and then i put that on my lace and i left it on for I want to say 20 minutes because I got distracted. I was watching a show, so I left it on a little bit longer than I should have, but not to worry. If you do over bleach your lace, there is easy ways to fix it, but you just want to be careful and don't be like me getting distracted. Pay attention. Okay. Watch that thing. So now I'm just going to style it. And of course this is a water. Well, it's a deep wave. I don't think it's a water deep wave, just a regular deep wave. So I'm just going to go in with some mousse because you don't need anything else but some water and mousse to style a curly hair. And I want you guys to see the lace on this wig. Okay, do you see how natural that lace is? So I'm just going to go in with my detangling brush, make sure everything is detangled. My ends are defined. Everything is together. Now, once my wig is dry, I left that to dry for a couple of hours and this is what it's looking like. It's still a little bit moist, but it's not wet. And if you have a diffuser, you could use that to dry it some more, fluff it out, give it some volume. So now I'm just going to go in with my hot comb just a tad bit, just to make sure that my parting space is nice and flat and also that the front is laid. Now we're going to get to this over bleach knot and we're about to fix it. So I got this spray from my beauty supply store. It's like a like a beard spray and it's in deep brown and i'm just gonna use the tail of my comb or you can use your um edge brush and just put that on the parting to protect it then you spray it directly onto the hair and let it dry and it works like magic like instantly your lace is together okay don't have to worry now i'm just gonna go in with this hair or lace tinting mousse rather and this mousse goes on on the underside of your lace and you just put that all over then you go in with a blow dryer and it dries instantly and it gives you a nice scalp tone so it depends on your scalp like the color of your scalp or your complexion how deep you go with this and this color matches me perfectly so i'm just adjusting my band on the inside making sure that everything is nice and snug so that i can indeed wear this wig glueless now the best tip for wearing a wig glueless is to get your correct size wig cap and also just tightening that band in the back so that it lays ear to ear and you don't have to do too much to your lace because look how natural natural this lace is the lace is laid and i'm not even done yet like i am obsessed with this lace when i put it on i'm like girl i am flabbergasted how good this lace is laying and we haven't even done anything yet like look at that oh my goodness laid so of course ear to ear sometimes it depends on the size of your head you might need to cut the sides to go around your ear comfortably so that's what i did i just cut a little bit and then now i'm going to repart my parting space because i parted a little bit too much to the other side i need to be more centered so i'm just going to go in with some mousse i don't have to use my hot comb anymore for this part because the wig is laying and then i'm going to go in with some mascara because i was too lazy to do that spray method again just use mascara or anything you have that's a little bit dark and then to make that clean you're gonna use some powder that matches your complexion if it is a bronzing powder foundation powder whatever kind of powder you want this is like a quick easy fix to your wig so i just dab that on don't do anything crazy use a very thin 
brush use a very thin makeup brush eye brush eyeshadow brush rather anything that you have just make sure that it's thin and you have control over the amount of powder that you're using now i don't want to do anything crazy i don't want to do no crazy soup to the dupe i want to do it lightweight okay i can't help myself i just like how the wigs look with a little swoop especially with the curly hair like i need just a little bit so i'm just gonna go in with some mousse and touch up the front you guys see already i'm not doing anything crazy then i tie that down just to dry the mousse in place so it gives that melted look again we're not using any glue any spray just mousse so i'm gonna go in with my mousse once more to just redefine my hair because i did use diffuser on the hair just to dry it a tad bit more but i wanted it to be more defined than how it was when it was like super dry so the mousse is gonna define the hair and hold it in place as is and because the hair is not wet the mousse will just lay the hair in its natural curly state now once i am satisfied with how my hair is looking once it's dried once more with the mousse in it we're just gonna remove the band soup to the dupe with the front just a little bit again i'm not doing anything crazy with the soups we're not doing no adult hairs no no super baby hair we're just doing a little lightweight you know a little a little touch up touch up and if your sides are lifting a bit, just go in with a little bit mousse and create a little sideburn. The sideburn is an illusion. You just don't have to use a lot. It's an illusion to make it look like your lace is like fully laid down with everything when all you use was mousse and it will stay in place. And the perfect part of this is that even if you're sweating and whatnot, because you're having the lace lay ear to ear, it shouldn't be moving because it's sitting comfortable on your head and this is what the lace is looking like and i'm like girl is this coming out of my scalp because ain't no way ain't no way like look at that look at that this is a 3d dome cap all around fit no slide back okay like that is fitted now what I want to do is I want to do a little styly style with this wig. So remember it's glueless so I don't want to pull on the lace. I need it to lay it down. So I'm going to tie my little elastic band on the lace while I style. But do you see the lace? Like I use my finger to part this here and I'm like is this scalp? Girl is this scalp? Is this flabbergasted? Okay I'm going to overuse that word so much because... I was in shock when I used my finger to part it. So we're just gonna do two little cornrows. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm not perfect at doing cornrows. So I just like, you know what, we're just gonna do a little style, local, local extra, extra up on the front, you feel me? And so I just did two cornrows. I did one on each side and then I just pinned it in the back. Now that I remove my little band, this is what it's looking like. You're just going to use the band to just hold it in place while you do your little styling. And this is the final look. Let me know what you guys think about this unit because she is absolutely giving and I am in love. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all major platforms at Damn That's Chef. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Go on, be good with yourself. Bye, guys.